should be recording. Okay. So yeah, you can name your world Sam Story Mode. Okay. How do you name the world? You type, and then you click check, so then you click Oh, okay. So, it's recording, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're playing a new game called Niche. It's, it's not that new. Yeah, type your name. Well, I never played it. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be named... Hmm, okay, okay, I'll have plenty of fun. <laughs> um, it's going to be named, hmm, what about... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, hmm... Niche World. That's an interesting name. Story Mode. Okay, let's stay on Story Mode and then play. <coughs> Three hours later. So it's creating the world. We're gonna do a tutorial on this game. So let's watch. Wow, those are beautiful. No. No. That's sad. That's so sad. <gasps> no. Tutorial. Ouch, that hurt. You're all alone, stranded on an island, far away from home. Zoom. Mouse wheel or R and F to zoom. Move camera. Left click and drag to or use was W A S D or the arrow keys to move the camera. Tilt and rotate. Right click and drag or use Q E T G to tilt and rotate the camera. Click to on Adam to select him. So this is Adam, I think. Okay. So, um, yep, this is Adam. Try to see if you can still walk. While Adam is selected, click on a possible to move. Uh -huh. What a long day. Time to get some sleep. At the beginning of each day, animals re regain their action points, which are represented by the game on their chest. Each performed action, such as walking, depletes one action point. Click on the end, e click on the end day button at the top of the screen to or press space to end the day. Okay. Where's the end day button? Let's sleep. So, there seems to be plenty of food on this island. Let's eat. Animals eat one food per day. Make sure Adam doesn't starve. The animal counter in the lower right 
corner displays how much food is consumed when eat ending a day. Now next to it is the food counter, displaying how much food has been collected. So it's um, right here. Select Adam, find a berry bush, and move next to it, collect the food. Okay, select you, find a berry bush. Where is the berry bush? Is that the berry bush? Oh no, that's a flower garden. Um, berry bush. Where did the berry bush? Maybe this is the berry bush. Um, so there are many, oh, that's the berry bush, okay, um, over here, over here, and then select Adam, can you collect the, f how do you collect the fruit? Okay, so you select him. And you click on this symbol. I don't know what that is, though. Did I move too close? How do you... Family tree. Um... Girls. How do you, what, okay. I'm trying to click these berry bushes, but it like won't work. Uh oh, he needs to eat. This island seems to be deserted. A pathway of stones leads to another island in the distance. Animals grow older and die one day. The life bar shows an animal's current age and lifespan. If the bar is full, the animal dies. Oh no, it's almost full. Move Adam to the flower port. End of the day, if you need to refill your action points, interact with a pointy travel stone to leave the island. Okay, so move him to the flower bed, as you can see right here. So we need to click on you again. Click on you. Click on you. Work. This is actually very hard to do. Oh no, he's almost gone. No. Come on. Come on. If you can only move two, it should have been closer to this one. Dang it. Twenty days, okay. Oh no. We're full. Right there. That's good. Wait, it wanted me to do what? Let you sleep. Let's let you sleep so you don't. Get in. 
Nisha is hard to play. This is very hard to play. Tutorial. I don't know what to do. Do you have any moves left? Um, no. Then you end the day. Then. Hey, look on him. Do this. Oh, so this has to be filled too. Do you have. What? This has to be filled too? No. No, 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 no. That's how old he is. I know. But before he dies, it has to be filled. What has to? This. Yeah. Okay, I was wor worrying about that. Okay, so you click on this to travel to the next island. Where you will find. His and a mate. Oh, it's right behind you. Wow. Hello. So you want to hover over the dot 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 button and then click on the one that has the face. Face. Which is yours now. Hello! The animal you found is a female called Evie. Eve. Eve. Adam and Eve seem to like each other. Let's start a family. And then. And Um, how do you switch it? You click on, to switch the animal, you yeah. click the other, you click somewhere else, and then you click on the other animal. There you go. So you make them? Not yet, I don't know how. You hover over it, and then you click on the heart. Um, oh. So click on Adam. Hover over it. Okay, there you go. Oh, it doesn't go under my grass. grass. Don't nest decay. Over time, it needs to be repaired. Our nesting material counter is deployed and displayed in the bottom right corner. Okay, um, <clears throat> thank you for that. How do you build a nest? Do you have to find materials? You have enough. Oh. Um, right so here? Click on her. Yeah, those are, click on her. Cool. And then only pregnant nieslings can do that to build a nest. There you go. And then you can just, you can gather fruit from that berry bush to get more food. Okay. Click on this dude. Go that way. He, he doesn't have any more moves. <sighs> you can use it with. You can use her though. Click on the. Isn't she? You, you hover over this dot 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 here. And you. Oh, she can't collect anything. <laughs> so what did the tutorial tell you to do? Um, it has to be. She has to be in the bed at the end of the day. Yeah. Okay. So you can just clear away some grass and get more nesting material. How do you? I can't. I but don't have moves. Yeah, you do. She has moves, so you can do that. And you can do that. She can stay in her nest. Uh -huh. so, so if you want, you can press spacebar also to end the day. There you go. That'll be a lot easier. <laughs> uh! <laughs> what the? It's a stripe. Princess. It's a striped little dude that looks like a bumblebee. Click on it. Boop. It's a female. Beam! Your first offspring has been born. Let's see what it can do. Click on the newborn and open the skill tab to use a lot of skill. You want it. Princess! Is that what smells? Yeah. Oh my lord. Did you yeah. fart? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so yeah, once you see all of her, those are her things that she can do. Then you they're click on her. Yeah. They're deadly. Okay. I just gonna let you do the tutorial. 
It's Bumblebee! You know, because was it silent? No. <laughs> it's deadly, though. <laughs> Where did she go? She just kind of disappeared. I don't know. Say hi for Trinity. Hearing cover and Emma can hear. Ah, this is neat. Each animal has its own set of skills. The number is below the skill icon show an animal skill level. Same, some interactions require certain skills if an interaction icon is orange. You only have a small chance of, to succeed. However, hover over a skill to see more information. Skills are defined by the animal's DNA. One runner leg, two hind legs, one baby, one bobby. Oh, neat. Oh wait, you're supposed to open the gene tab. What's the gene tab? The one right below it. There you go. Jane! An animal's DNA comes it comes da. Consists of many traits which define appearance and skills. Is she in my room? Don't worry about it. Each trait is defined by a pair of genes. Genes are inherited by from an animal's parents, which parent each parent randomly contributes one gene of each gene pair. A gene's tooltip shows what which skills are influenced. The gene pair can express complete... Did you... Princess, you're in trouble. Only the upper gene of the pair is active. E.g. eyes. I cal... I... Blah, blah, blah. E.g. eyes. Incomplete dominance. Both genes blend together for color. I'm gonna steal the dog. Oh, example gene, that's what it means. Come on. Codominant. Both genes are okay by separately expressed. Example genes. Pause. Open the mutation tab. So that's medium ears. No horns. Eyes, N short snout, big body. She she does not have a big body. <laughs> Digging paw. La, 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 la. Mutations, right? Mutation. Each animal has two mutation slots. Mutations don't affect the animal itself. They affect an animal's offspring by, by giving it a chance to express and select the selected gene. Confirming a mutation is irreversible. 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 Okay, I think I got it down. Click on a mutation slot. Select a gene and confirm the mutation. So this is mutation select that needs to be mutated. <laughs> the only one who's like, I have common sense is this. <laughs> Dream. So let's click on that. Medium ears. Chestnut brown fur. <gasps> Black fur. <gasps> White fur. Blah, blah, blah. Moss brown fur. 
Red fur. Oh, red fur. Yellow fur. Beige fur. Hmm, that's neat. Oh, you can have horns, red horns. Let's click on that. Click on the animal link. Additional information about an animal can be found in the bottom left corner. Animal links define who gets to eat it if food is scarce. Alpha animals can exile omega animals. Status effects are displayed next to the link. Click on the animal link to change it. I'm gonna first. That, 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 that. Uh, maybe red, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, you can get an overview of your group and the family tree, where you can change the names, gem colors, and rank of your animals. You also can filter your animals by skills and genes. Pay close attention to which animals you breed, and sex incest can quickly lead to sickness. Make sure each animal has two different immunity genes to prevent this. A and star. Easy. Oh my lord. Beam. Let's name you. Huh. B. Yeah. Eve. Let's name you. Hmm. Well. Kind of look like. Oh, the cat's in here. <gasps> kind of look like... Huh. Maybe... I don't know what to name you. Maybe... No, not Jem. Um... Maybe, hmm, I don't know what to name you, so I'll come back to you. Adam, <clears throat> you look like orange. Orange, and then you look like so there's B, orange, and it has to be a nice name like B and orange. So you look like, gonna get Virgul to help me with your name if she comes back. You look like, hmm, brown bear, no, I'm just joking. Um, bear could be, no, that's, that's not a nice name. What about brownie? Yeah, that's a good name. <laughs> brownie! So, that's good. Brownie, orange, and bee. That's a great family. No, Jean, what? Okay, so, um... <gasps> I had brownie, orange, and B. Brownie, orange, and B. B. Oh, B. <laughs> do you like? Do you like my creative oh, no. names? Sure. 
<laughs> what does it mean by no gene? So I don't change that? You can. It, I don't know what that does though. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna change it. <gasps> Wait a second. Yeah, I'm. Isn't it a fabulous lucky shirt on St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> it says lucky justice. How do you, oh, I see the accent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, looks like she's grabbing onto Bee's ear. <laughs> uh, this is the end of the tutorial. Your story begins here. Go and find a way back to your home island but beware many challenges await you challenges <laughs> challenges await you adopt or go extinct dun 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 are they coming with me yeah you just move each of them i have to move every one of them So, so those three can come with you. So each one has to be on a flower. Yeah. Bed. And then one of them clicks on it and then he goes to the next island. Uh, you can get rid of all these notifications. Uh, notifications. I thought they were. So by adopt, it means like taking new members. Uh, get new genes. So if you don't adopt, you can go extinct. Basically. So yeah, have fun. Yeah, okay. So Well, that's a great idea. We're going to end the episode here. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs>